Hello, I'm Karen Ridges from Veggie Vision TV and today I'm going to be sharing a healthy eating tip with you. Today I'm going to show you how to freeze apples. Maybe you're lucky enough to have a wonderful apple tree near you or you've picked up some good apples cheaply at a farmer's market or whatever the reason is. Freezing apples is a really good thing to do to store your apples. Now, I will just say once you're frozen apples, um, and then obviously you're gonna let them defrost or whatever, they're not so good to just eat. So you do need to cook with them, maybe making an apple sauce or, a, or an apple pie, um, but you're best not to, to, do, to try to defrost and eat the apple. So here's one I actually froze earlier. It looks very similar, but you can hear it is, uh, it is rather rock hard. So what we would do with this is pop it in the oven and have a lovely baked apple, really tasty. So you can peel your apples, however, I prefer not to. Um, what I do is I slice the apples like this. You can core them as well, but I think that if you just pop the seeds out, I think that's good enough. And I like to slice it in apple chunk slices. Now you can store this in your freezer in juice, in an apple juice, or even in a, in a, um, a syrup, a syrup water. And uh, so you can freeze them dry as such, and you can freeze them wet as well. Now we just carry on slicing down here into even slices. And the nice thing about freezing an apple in sizes like this is that if you are going to use that for an apple pie, you can literally pop all of these apples on your uh, baking dish already and freeze that. So you just bring your dish back out of the freezer and uh, pop your uh, pie crust on top and then you have a lovely, gorgeous, tasty apple pie ready to just be cooked. Now what you can do with these is dip them in um, a salt water or even um, a lemon juice water and this will help stop them from browning. However, if you do them quite quickly, then you don't need to worry about that. Equally, you can pop these on a, on a baking tray, especially if you have a lot. Let them freeze for about an hour and then pop them in your freezer bag. What we're going to do today is literally freeze them dry like this, seal up the bag, get the air out, get them in the freezer as soon as you can. Write the date on there if you want to. We're going to get these in the freezer right now. Apples are a really super fruit to enjoy. We all know that an apple a day keeps the doctor away. So if you have an abundance of apples, that is how you can freeze apples. 